Okay, so this is just um, a brief video to make sure that you have your notifications turned on properly for Microsoft Teams to make sure you're getting notifications um, as you should be. Uh, the first thing to do is make sure it's turned on on your device. Um, we're looking at an iPhone here, but it's, it's usually quite similar for most Android phones as well. You go into settings, you look for um, notifications and um, you can see everything that's on your device you navigate down to teams this case right here and um, you can see up here just pointing out there allow notifications that might be turned off if it is turn it on and then you have control over how the notifications come how they appear that kind of thing okay so that's the first thing to um, uh, be aware of is to make sure it's turned on in your settings notifications for teams um, Next into uh, Teams itself, and uh, again, you have a list of the different teams. Let's say we pick a particular um, channel. You just want to make sure, particularly to general channels, that your notifications are turned on. So if, for example, we press here on general, and you'll see the notifications up here in the corner for a class group, um, that you press on the little bell, you'll see I have all messages turned on uh, in this channel. And if I click on that now, it's turned off. So just make sure that there's not a line through the notifications button that you actually have it um, turned on. Um, and that's the same for all your channels. You might see uh, again, for this channel, I don't have it turned on. Again, press on the um, bell and uh, the notifications icon and I have it turned on. That's just particularly important for all the, the general channels. For every class team that you're part of, you should um, have the notifications turned on for the general channel at least. Uh, then there's your overall settings for notifications. So again, if you go over here to the three lines in the corner, press on those and the uh, menu appears in the sidebar. And uh, if you go down to notifications there, and you see you have a lot of control here on, on, on different aspects. First of all, um, you can turn on quiet hours, which is quite useful. Sometimes teachers might post something uh, earlier in the day and notifications might come in too late because of delays in Microsoft Teams. Here you can schedule quiet hours. It's automatically set from 7 in the evening to 7 in the morning, but you can change that um, by pressing this button here. Um, and also you can schedule quiet days um, just to make sure notification, no notifications come in down here at the um, at the weekend. So you can schedule Saturday and Sunday for no notifications to appear as well. If you, again, if you turn on uh, this button up here. Okay, um, so we go back out of this menu and then you have also have control over what you get notifications for, chats, mentions, replies, followed channel posts. Um, most of these, once you turn on notifications are automatically set up and uh, you can kind of change those depending on what you think is important or what's not important, but particularly follow channel posts and uh, it's particularly important that you would get notifications around those. So just make sure you have all of those um, set up and that your notifications turned on in your phone settings and then your notifications turned on within the Microsoft Teams settings as well. And then you can be sure that uh, you're gonna get all the notifications that you should. But bear in mind, there are times that Microsoft Teams gets a little bit overwhelmed and there may be a delay in you getting notifications. Um, it doesn't happen too often, but it can um, happen. So just keep an eye out for that as well. Okay.